All right, what's up everybody? It's Abe here. And today I'm going to be installing my innovative traction bar right here. Also uh, known as a pelvis. Also known as a pelvis. You guys don't know Mike. I'll introduce Mike, my cousin. He's the noob. I try to teach him as much as possible. I am. All right, so we're gonna install the innovative traction bar or cross member, whatever you guys want to call it. A pelvis just so I can make enough room to fit a decent sized downpipe. And yeah, I'm gonna take you over to the engine bay. and lighten this up a little bit. See there's the headers. And then down here you see the stock cross member right there. It's, what, it's what's in focus, there it is. And a lot of people with these EFs with swaps or turbo setups, they need to, well, it's, it's kind of a necessity to get this out of the way and replace it for this here. All right. All right, so I'm gonna try my best to take you step by step on how to go ahead and install this. Again, I finally just got the wagon up on some jack stands. I'm gonna be pulling the motor soon. I'm just still waiting on a few things to come in. I ordered a half size radiator, it's on its way in. I have a lot more parts that I recently ordered and bought locally here. So yeah, let's get right into it. Okay guys, uh, so to start this off, there's two 11 16 size bolts right above my face right here. <laughs> right here, there's one here and one there. So I'm gonna start off with trying to take it off with this small little ratchet, again, 11 16 you can use a deep socket or a regular one, doesn't matter. I have this pipe here to get some leverage in case it's too hard to do it. So, hopefully, make sure it's loosening. Yep. Hopefully it's not too stuck. Okay. Came right off. Oh, um, don't forget to take a sip of rum before you do this. Oh yeah, guys, I highly recommend you either drink some beer or some rum and coke while you're oh, doing yeah. work. Time flies, I promise. Um, for um, legal reasons though, we don't really suggest you do that. If you yeah. do, it's at your own discretion. All right, so yeah, these bolts came off pretty easily, but still a little stubborn. Make sure at least wear some gloves. I started this wearing no gloves. I'm tired of just, like I said, going home and having to scrub my hands so hard to get this oily, grease, mucky stuff off. Uh, feels like I'm literally peeling the skin off my fingers. So I'm gonna just keep trying to get this off. Okay. Again, we're doing this, we're starting off on the driver's side. Come on, bolt two. Now I'm gonna move on to the two bolts that are connected to the lower control arm. Again, I have to remove these 11, 16 size bolts here. Again, here's the rod, and it connects to the lower control arm. You can visibly see one on camera. I see the other one. The other one's right behind it. It's, the fork is in the way. But there's one here, one there. I'm gonna have Mike hold the camera. All right, so I grabbed my 11, 16 wrench you could use the open end, open end or the uh, circled off closed end whatever you want to call it uh, to get this bolt off I tried to use the socket but it was, there was just no room in between the freaking axle the fork and tie rod that's over there so I'm just gonna hopefully not get hurt I'm just gonna pull on this hopefully you guys can see and if we see him get hurt we all get to see it together all right. not that I'm rooting for it or anything Alright, so I broke that one loose pretty easily. <laughs> it finally came out. Now time to break off the other one. Alright, so I'm thinking of a cool way, a really innovative way to take this bolt off because it's being very, very tough to do so right now. So, I'm going to put the wrench here. Alright. So we've bolt, all done take some off. sort of foot power twisting 
put my foot on it right here. Actually get it on. My foot there. Hold on to this for some leverage and push. And that's how you break off an annoying bolt. All right, so we just broke loose all the bolts. You're gonna do the same procedure on the other side. Yep, this is it right here. Big as hell. I don't even know if the camera's in focus, but this is it. And then the other one, right down there, right by your hip. Let's see how small that one is. All right, this is the traction bar. Same ordeal, same thing. Should bolt right up, no problems. All right, looks like there's this. I'm not 100% sure, sure what it is, but it's in my way of putting the uh, traction bar on, so I'm assuming it needs to come off. Looks like a little, you know, a little toe hook or whatever. Come over here, sliding all over this dirty floor. All right, so I just took off these little toe hook looking things. There's three uh, 15 millimeter bolt, 15 or 14 I think you use. 15 fit a little loose on these, but I still got it off. Hopefully uh, this will go in easily now. Uh, I couldn't finish this the day before. Uh, I just had something I needed to do, so I had to drop everything and kind of leave. So I went ahead and again, I took off the stock cross member and I have the uh, traction bar here just laying down. Um, as you notice, sorry, I removed the radiator as well, just to get that out the way. The stockman's here, I'll probably just go ahead and sell that. And I'll just give you an update once I have everything bolted up. Again, it's the exact same way as taking it off. You're, all you're doing is just reversing the process. So I'll just give you a quick little update once everything's on. Again, just pick it up. Try to line it up as best as you can. Okay, I got that thread in. All right, I got it bolted on that side. Just gonna come over here. Just so it's not hanging over there by itself. See if I can get a little bit of support by going ahead and threading this in somewhat as well. Let me get the other bolt, start putting this one on too. All right, uh, so we're pretty much done. I finished putting in the uh, traction bar, it's all installed, looks good, nice and sturdy. Now I have a bunch of room on this side over here to fit a down pipe. A decent sized one actually and it just clears up a lot of space down low and hopefully it'll improve my traction uh, that's about it hopefully uh, my next video will be pulling this uh, engine out of here so stay tuned for more content guys peace out